हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट रीनल ए जेनेसिस रीनल ए जेनेसिस इज मोस्ट कॉमनली यूनिलेटरल रीनल ए जेनेसिस इज सीन इन वन इन थाउजेंड इंडिविजुअल्स एंड दिस रीनल ए जेनेसिस इज मोर कॉमनली सीन ऑन द मेल्स इन द मेल्स एंड इट इज मोर कॉमन ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड इट इज मोर कॉमन इन मेल्स एंड इट इज मोर कॉमन इन द लेफ्ट साइड एस्पेशली इन द रीनल ए जेनेसिस इट इज मोर कॉमन इन द लेफ्ट साइड इफ देर इज यूनिलेटरल रीनल ए जेनेसिस so here here if you if if kidney is absent renal agenesis is nothing but absent kidney if kidney is absent then in 50% of the cases on that side ureter is also absent on the same side the ureter is also absent and in some other 50% the blind ureter may be present so if the if this is this is unilateral if this renal agenesis is unilateral then it is okay but but if there is bilateral renal agenesis then always you should think that it is difficult to live so the child is incompatible with life because kidneys are very important for the excretion of metabolic wastes but if there is bilateral renal agenesis the excretion of metabolic waste products has been hampered and thus the kidney will be the baby is incompatible with life and it is thank it is a good situation that it this bilateral renal agenesis is very rare then this bilateral renal agenesis is actually associated with oligohydromnios pulmonary hypoplasia it can be associated with amnion nodosum and potter's facies potter's facies is mainly seen in bilateral renal agenesis potter's facies is associated with bilateral renal agenesis whereas pulmonary hypoplasia is mainly due to the defective proline synthesis defective proline synthesis has a role in pulmonary hypoplasia but actually whenever there is renal agenesis kidneys will actually in the uh, womb in the fetal life the renal the kidneys will produce urine this urine is the constituent of the amniotic fluid urine is constitutes the amniotic fluid but if there is renal agenesis then the fetal urine is not produced thus the angiogenesis thus the amniotic fluid level will be less so the patient will have oligohydromnios and there is pulmonary hypoplasia is also seen in these patients this pulmonary hypoplasia is mainly due to the defective proline synthesis number 1 second the amniotic fluid will is swallowed by the baby okay and this amniotic fluid will even go to the lungs and this amniotic fluid is important for the growth of the lungs but here because of oligohydromnios the amniotic fluid is not sufficient to uh, for the growth of the lungs thus resulting in pulmonary hypoplasia this amnion nodosum is a future due to uh, oligohydromnios then if there is unilateral renal agenesis this unilateral renal agenesis is mainly associated with carnuate unicornuate or bicornuate uterus or septate vagina in females so unilateral renal agenesis is associated with either unicornuate uterus or it is associated with bicornuate uterus or it is associated with a septate vagina and uterus then colonic shadow is placed more rapidly on x ray kub due to unilateral renal agenesis actually if the kidney is there the colonic shadow will be medial because kidney is placed laterally but if kidney is not there then this shadow is seen to be placed more laterally on x ray kub thank you and thank you for watching